Welcome back to another brand new Arc Ascended Mod Spotlight video. Today we're going to do another one of the five mods you should check out videos because there's so many new mods coming to the Curse Forge page that you definitely need to go check them out. And I can't wait for a bunch of these to come to console. That's kind of what I'm most excited about is to see these on consoles a little bit later. So I'm TVF Gaming. We do a lot of different things here on the channel, mainly Arc stuff, a lot of survival stuff. And we like to do these mod spotlights on the weekend. So Saturday and Sunday, we'll do a little mod spotlight. Let me know if you guys like to see it like this, where it's a five different mods in one video to kind of give you an idea of some cool mods. Or do you like the a little bit deeper dive, just one mod at a time? It kind of depends on the size of the mod usually, whether or not I do a solo video. But I can also do little short videos on each individual mod. We'll figure that out. But today we've got five, technically a couple extra mods to show you guys. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. Really do appreciate it. Huge shout out to the mod developers. Make sure you check out their Curse Forge page or join their Discord to get more information. Let's get into the first mod. All right, one of the first mods we're going to check out is a really helpful mod by Hex and Lord. You guys know Hex and Lord from Arc Omega. He's got a bunch of really good mods already on the Curse Forge page, so definitely check those out. Links to all his stuff will be down below. But this one's pretty cool. This is just an egg collector. It helps you out a lot, especially early game, getting all those eggs collected. We've shown this a little bit on our playthrough, and it's got a another other, couple other features that we'll talk about really quick. But basically, the egg collector is going to pick up your eggs for you and is going to keep them in this nice little collector. This is something they had in the Arc Omega mod and they made it into a separate little solo mod. Very, very cool. So if you have your dinos around it, obviously it's going to pick that up. It's got a couple other things that it can do with it as well. Let's see, show range. We'll do that one so you can see how long it is. You also have the option in the INI &I to make it to where it, it can pick up wild dino eggs if you want it to. So you can put it in a location where dinos are going to lay eggs and it'll pick them up for you it'll also grab fertilizer if you turn that on and then you can also choose whether or not to disable the integration integration is where instead of having these dinos out we can actually go into this and do integration hold on like this we'll go manage integrated layers this is where all your integrated dinos would be displayed but you do choose female to integrate so we go down here we're going to choose all of these females now keep in mind when you do this the dino disappears. It's basically gone forever. It's now in the machine. So we're going to go close. And now we're going to go integrate and destroy females. Boom. So now you can see all the dodos are gone. They are actually in the machine. You cannot get them back. So don't do this to like one of your main breeders or anything like that. But just use it to dinos, lower level dinos that you want to use for egg collection. Now they're inside of there. And they're going to lay eggs inside of here. You don't have to have them out and about they'll be in there laying eggs for you so really cool mod definitely go check it out hex and lord egg collector let's move on to the next mod. all right the next mod is called resource gatherers by zalosath i'm so sorry if i'm saying that incorrectly this is something we saw on the previous version on ase on arc survival evolved arc survival ascended has a little bit different version this is the resource gatherers this is very very cool basically you have three tiers you got the tier one tier two and tier three gatherer you can make them in your inventory like so uh, they might actually be made like on the smithy or something, but I can see them in my inventory right now. So you've got the tier one. It costs 400 cement, 1,000 metal ingot, 300 electronics, and 100 oil. So it's not cheap. It's not something you can get day one. But once you get a little bit further in, you can get this there. And it's definitely worth it. And we'll show what each one of these does in just a second. Next one is the tier two gatherer. This is 800, 2,000, 600, and 200. And then the tier three is 800 cement paste, 4,000 metal 600 electronics and 300 oil so a little bit expensive but it is something you can get into a little bit later let's pump that to get rid of that so these are very cool basically inside of here it'll start collecting resources based on whatever's right here so if you go into your inventory type in resource there's these different resources that you can make and that's what we'll put over in there so if you want to do the wood resource it costs 1000 wood to make that we click that it makes that and then we take this we put it in here and put it in the offhand thing and then it's going to start producing it. The tier one ticks once every 60. I'm sorry. Oh, this is tier three. Oh, we're on the tier three. My bad. Sorry. Tier one. Let's do this again. Tier one, like so. This will tick once every 60 seconds. It'll actually produce one of that item. So it's not super OP. It, it takes it's over time. But if this is running on a server or something like that, it's going to really help you out just getting that simple resources. So you don't have to go out and gather it quite as much. Next one, tier two, is every 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and throw that on there. Boom. And then if we go a little bit of fast forward action, so we'll go slow-mo 100. We'll let it work for just a second, quickly overnight. There you go. Slow-mo one. Put it back to normal. And then now inside of here, you'll see there's a few of those. Got quite a few of those. And 
quite a bit more of that. So that's kind of how that works. It basically just produces it over time. The next one we're going to show off kind of in conjunction with this is another mod by our friend Amalgamaniac. You guys know Amalgamaniac, the creator of Arc Reclamation and Eerie Dinos, is already adding little solo dinos as their own little standalone mod. And the first one is Resource Slags. Now, right now, there's only one dino available in this. That's why I'm just doing it as a kind of side-by-side -side with the other resource gatherer. And that's these guys in the back. These are called Resource Slugs. Specifically, these are Stone Slags. So they are, they're, they're Resource Slags. They basically produce materials for you the first one he's got is a stone slag they're kind of ugly little guys also apparently they are on breeding now what's nice is you put these guys on wander and they're going to produce things in their inventory stone slag does stone flint and uh, the same stuff that normal acatinas do which is paste and polymer it looks like so that that's something they'll just produce as they're on wander so you put them on wander go in here behavior go wander so you put them on wander and then you go down here and put disable uh, turret mode you turn turret mode on so that way they're not cruising around your base all the time so we go like that turn mode on there you go so that way they're not cruising around <laughs> gotta maybe keep them a little bit more separate so they're not making babies or, or maybe do the get one of the mods that has like a dino neuter gun something like that but there you go there's two excellent resource mods that can help get you going in earlier later game definitely worth checking out so make sure you go check out the mount maniac and zalosat all right, we're going to once again kind of fit two mods in one spot right here. This is the Eternal standalone mods. You guys know Lucian Kane, LK. We've been a long-time friend with LK. He's been a good friend of the channel. We definitely want to spotlight these two mods within this video today. And that's the Eternal Feeder and Eternal Grace. First one we'll talk about is Eternal Grace. Now, the way this should work, hopefully, if I did it correctly, if I actually installed the mod, when I get rid of GCM here in just a second, uh, we should fall to the ground, and then basically we're going to hopefully not die because we have Eternal Grace turned on. So that's what we're going to try out real quick. Let's get to it. You guys know LK is the mod developer for Eternal, and a lot of the Eternal standalones are coming to ASA before he gets ready to bring over the main mod. I cannot wait to see uh, when he brings Eternal over, of course. All right, uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, we just got to do this. Walk. No, no, I'm sorry. GCM. Turn GCM off. Boom. And we should hopefully not die from this. It did not work. All right, take two. For this to work, you got to make sure that in the bottom right over here that you have the Eternal Grace buff down the bottom right. So now Eternal Grace is on. So now, now it'll work. So let's go ahead and turn GCM off again. And we should take zero fall damage. There you go. No fall damage taken. It's really nice for jumping off dinos. Or if you have mods in here like a Flight Mod or the Glider Mod or even a Grapple Hook Mod, any one of those, we should probably shut these guys off. These things are really, really loud. All right, so really simple. That's the Eternal Grace mod. Just stops you from getting any fall damage or anything like that. The next thing we'll talk about is the Eternal Feeder, another standalone mod from the Arc Eternal mod. This one's really cool because it feeds your dinos. You don't have to worry about a bunch of food thrown in here. If you guys know, especially when you start playing modded dinos, they go through a lot of food. So basically, you make this Eternal Feeder in your inventory. So we'll go like this, Feeder. You've got the Eternal Feeder, and then you have the Eternal Feed. So we're going to go ahead and make the feed. Oh, am I not in GCM again? Hold on. Let's get back in GCM. Let's go GCM. Boom. Now we can go feed. We'll make that. We'll throw that in here. And now this will auto-feed anything in the area. The nice thing about it is it actually creates a bunch of other stuff in here. Let's turn it on kind of fast here. We'll go, let's go slow-mo 100. And then you'll see it'll start producing all the stuff in here. Now, the nice thing is you can't pull any of this out. This is not stuff that you can cheat and use as your own supplies. It literally just feeds everything in the area. So if we had any wild dinos out, they would feed off that trough right there. And then just to verify it, you can see that they have the little food thing above their, their body right there. So there you go. That is the Eternal Feeder. Super simple mod we just wanted to show off real quick. Another one of the standalone mods coming from Eternal. Make sure you check out LK's page. Longtime friend of the channel, and we cannot wait to see Arc Eternal come to ASA, and man, I, I hope that they can get it under that 2 gig limit so we could see it on console, because Arc Eternal on the console would be the coolest thing ever. Alright, let's move on to the next mod. Alright, so the next mod is Bangin' Tranks by Bang Plays Games. This is another Dino Trank mod that I, I absolutely love. We tried out one last week. This is another really good one. This one's cool because it also has a rifle and some bullets with that. So it's got three types of arrows. No special narcotic or anything like that in order to make these arrows. It's all done on your inventory. It's narcotic, trank arrow, and stimulant. Next one is narcotic and stone arrow. I'm sorry, that's the first one. That one is the narcotic stimulant, trank arrow. The tier two is biotoxin. And then the tier three wants megalania tonic and tit uh, titanoboa venom. 
So they do get a little more expensive, but they're a lot more powerful. So we'll show you real quick how good these guys are. So let's go ahead and get the crossbow. Let's go ahead and get the tier two arrow. I'm sorry, the tier one, the tier two, and the tier three arrow. And then we'll grab the sniper rifle and the sniper rifle bullets. And we'll try out each one of these on a dino. And look, we actually have a dino down here ready to get shot. Let's go ahead and get our super spyglass out. Another great mod that we checked out last time. Uh, we are going to get some of those admin messages up top. I can't help that. But let's go ahead and check this out. So this is a Bronto with 3,000 Torpor. Let's see how this first arrow does. So the first arrow should be, it's either two times or five times the original arrow. So let's go ahead and see. Let's see if I can shoot that far. All right. So the first one is doing about 300. So nothing like super OP or crazy. The second one starts getting a little bit better. Yep, he's coming. I know. So let's go ahead and shoot him again. He's sitting at 315. We throw in this second arrow. And now <laughs> he knocks straight out. So it does at least 3,000 Torpor. So let's see if we can get a little bit bigger dino out here to test this on. Okay, so let's test out that second arrow again just so we can see exactly how much Torpor it does. We should be able to see... Let me make sure we have the spyglass consumed. So we can see this. There we go. He's got 63,000. So if we shoot this guy now. So it does a couple thousand with that one. Let's go ahead and jump up to the next arrow. So the tier 3 arrow. This one's the expensive one that takes Megalania Tonic and Titanoboa Venom. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy now. This one does 10,000 per. So it's very expensive, but that's a lot of Torpor. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and switch to the sniper rifle. Make sure we have that. It's a cool little green sniper rifle. Look at that thing as we get eaten by this guy. Oh, good. He's stuck. I wish this would happen when we were actually taming Gigas. There you go. 30-something 30, 30 up to 50. So about 20,000 Torpor per bullet. These bullets are pretty expensive as well. So let's go ahead and look at the sniper. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The, the Let's go like that. So these take... Two advanced sniper bullets, three narcotic, ten biotoxin, and one stimulant. So really, the, the tranquilizer bullet's not that expensive, but you obviously have to be a little bit more advanced to get that. Uh, but it ended up knocking him out, so it did actually do a little bit more torpor over time as well. And it looks like the buff is still going. So, yep, torpor is still increasing. So that makes that a lot easier. So there you go. That is called Bangin' Tranks. Definitely a great mod. Go check it out. I'll put all the links up to his info in the description down below. All right, we got last two mods. Let's go. All right, for the last mod, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do two mods kind of in the same place because they're just two different mods that do kind of the same thing in terms of death inventory or death recovery. So these are two really good ones. The first one we're going to look at is AP Death Recovery. AP Death Recovery is really nice. You put down this little device right here. Let me show you. This thing right here, and then you can recover all of your stuff. So my body over here, if this was somewhere else out on the map, we could go to this. We could go recover items. It's going to pull all my stuff back to my inventory. So now you can see that stuff is off that body. There you go. Really, really simple. So if we do a... Let's see. I don't think... Is there a... Yeah, I don't have a kill myself potion. And we've got eternal grace. So I can't exactly die that way. But let me let me kill off my character a little bit further away this time so you can see. There you go. So as we said before, even though our death is way over there... You come over here, click recover items, and you can see all my stuff ends up back in my inventory. So just a really good mod. It's a nice one to have on here if you're, you don't want to go all the way across the map to get your stuff. This is definitely one of those must-have on servers. I don't know if we have it on our server currently, but I need it on there because, man, death recovery is the worst. All right, last one we're going to check out is the death inventory keeper. This one's a little extra. All right, the last one that we're going to talk about is the death inventory keeper by Trey411176. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. So this one is just a death inventory keeper. It's just like it sounds this one is very very simple as long as you have the little buff down in the bottom right that says death inventory keeper this one's going to allow you to keep your inventory you don't have to worry about losing it let's go over here and get this guy to eat my face let's go gcm off there you go he'll come and eat our face and we when we respawn there you go come on do your thing when we respawn we're going to have all of our stuff so you are, our body's already gone let's go ahead and respawn boom respawn random location and when we get here all of our stuff is already back on us. This is really good when you're playing some big OP dino mods where you're getting killed like all the time with Arc Omega, stuff like that, that you're going to end up getting eaten a lot. This is an absolute go-to one. There are a couple settings for it. I believe Death Inventory Keeper to, to include keep equipment on respawn. And uh, there's a couple other ones. Keep equipment on respawn. 
keep inventory on respawn, keep quick slots on respawn, so you can kind of change it to where you want. You can also, to make this a little bit more kind of fair, if you're getting to keep your inventory, you can also do an XP loss. So you can make like an XP, uh, basically, uh, not not benefit, what's the <laughs> words? So you can do a XP debt kind of to pay for the fact that you get to keep your stuff. Kind of a cool way to kind of offset that just a little bit. But Death Inventory Keeper, another great mod. Let's go ahead and close it out. All right, there you go. Eternal Grace working still. So there you go. That was a quick look at some mods that you should definitely check out for Ark Survival Ascended. Make sure you let me know what you guys think of these in the comments down below. If you want to see other specific mods, let me know that too. I am making a list of all the ones that people put in the comments so we can do those in future videos. If it's a bigger mod, we'll do it in its own standalone video. If it's a smaller mod, we'll do it in a little mod spotlight video like like this so let me know what you think which format you like better i'm going to try to keep getting better at editing these and hopefully get these out to you every saturday and sunday i don't want to overdo it because there's right now there's about 600 mods on the actual curse forge page that's going to continue to increase but you got to kind of wade through some of the really good ones some of the really bad ones some people who are new to modding that are still trying to figure it out it takes a lot of time to kind of figure this out because there's a lot that goes on to these mods anyways long intro aside or outro aside I really appreciate all the support. Almost 20,000 subs. Thank you so much, guys. I love y'all. Hope you have an absolutely great weekend, great day, and I hope you have a little bit of fun in Arc Ascended with some crazy good mods. Go check out these mod developers. See you guys.